Humanoid robots have long been a staple of science fiction, but they're quickly becoming a reality, and the United States is leading the way in this field of research. Recently, the US just revealed fully functioning female robots. These robots are not only able to perform basic tasks, but also show some advanced human emotions. This development is sure to revolutionize the robotics industry and could have a significant impact on our society as a whole. So far, reaction to these new robots have been positive, with many people excited to see what potential applications they may have. Only time will tell what the future holds for these amazing machines, so let's take a look at some of their best robots. Number 1. Cassie Let's start with our first robot, Cassie. A bipedal robot named Cassie developed at Oregon State University and manufactured by OSU spin-off company called Agility Robotics INC. Broke a world record by traveling 5 kilometers, which is 3.1 miles in slightly under 53 minutes. The Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency provided a 16-month $1 million grant for the development of Cassie, which was carried out under the supervision of robotics professor Jonathan Hurst. Since 2017, OSU students with funding from the National Science Foundation have been investigating machine learning possibilities for the robot. According to Hurst, who also co-founded Agility Robotics, the Dynamic Robotics Laboratory students at the OSU College of Engineering integrated expertise from biomechanics and current robot control systems with new machine learning capabilities. Animal-like levels of performance will be possible with this kind of holistic approach. It's really thrilling. Although there hasn't been much progress in legged robotic movement, Oregon State claims that their research has contributed to several innovations. The first robot to mimic the dynamics of human walking stride was Atrias, created in the Dynamic Robotics Laboratory. Then came Cassie, then the humanoid robot Digit from Agility. Using a deep reinforcement learning system, Cassie trained itself to run and had knees that flexed like an ostrich. Running necessities dynamic balancing, which is the capacity to keep one's balance while shifting postures or otherwise moving. And Cassie has mastered the art of making many little modifications to stay upright while running according to OSU. Cassie finished the 5 kilometers in 53 minutes, 3 seconds, which includes around 6.5 minutes of resets after two faults. One was brought on by an overheated microprocessor while the other was a result of the robot being ordered to make a turn at a speed that was too fast. Hers predicted, like the vehicle, and with a comparable impact, walking robots will one day be a regular sight. Everyone will come into contact with robots in many aspects of their daily lives in the not-too-distant future, he said, as they collaborate with us and enhance our quality of life. Bipedal robots will someday have the intelligence and safety skills to assist people in their homes in addition to logistical tasks like package delivery, continued Hurst. Number 2. Digit Up next, we will talk about Digit by Agility Robotics. One day, a robot that spans up, walks, and hands items to you may bring your stuff to you. In 2019, Agility Robotics unveiled Digit, its most recent model. In order to do many of the same jobs that human employees do in factories and warehouses, Digit has legs, a torso, and arms. According to Agility, it has a particular vision for Digit that includes last mile delivery. The initial customer of Digit was Ford, who intended to utilize it for package delivery. To enable communication between Ford and Digit automobiles, researchers are developing new technologies. Agility claims that the addition of arms is a significant advance over Cassie, their previous bipedal robot. CTO Jonathan Thurst said arms are a tool for moving around the environment while also being helpful for handling the transporting goods. Think of rising up after a fall, waving your arms for balance, or pushing open a door. Leading manufacturer of leg robots, Agility Robotics announced today that a $20 million investment had closed. With the investment, the business will be able to meet the demand from logistics companies, online retailers, and other robots for that can work alongside people to automate repetitive, physically demanding and hazardous work in a safe and scalable manner. Even in the vast majority of the spaces that are not specifically designed for automation. Digit, a humanoid robot by Agility Robotics that can move about and manipulate objects, is now on the market and has been delivering to customers since July 2020. Digit expands on the team's two decades of work in dynamic movement and manipulation that is human-like, can navigate unstructured indoor and outdoor environments, and goes where human goes. Digit is adaptable and capable of doing a variety of tasks that have been created with the human form factor in mind. Number 3. Stuntronics now we will talk about Disney's robot, Stuntronics. With its most recent innovation, Stuntronics Walt Disney Imagineering never ceases to astound. These autonomous robotic figurines were developed as a result of the Stickman experiment according to Matthew Benzarino for Tech Crunch. They are capable of doing daring acrobatics 60 feet in the air with pinpoint accuracy and precision. These robots can even assume superhero postures as they fly through the air and can adjust their course as they land to ensure a precise landing. 
According to Tony Dohi, a lead Imagineer on the project, this is about the realization we came to after seeing where our characters are going on screen. Whether they're Star Wars characters, Pixar characters, Marvel characters, or our own animation characters, they are doing things that are really, really active. Thus, our park wizard's expectations are that our characters will perform all of these things when they appear on screen. However, when it comes to our attractions, what are our animatronic figures doing? We are aware of a potential disconnect in this area. The possibility for Centronics at the parks are almost limitless as a result of the S Insight, which inspired Imagineering to develop the stunt double idea. The Indiana Jones stunt spectacular at Disney's Hollywood Studios, Spider-Man doing an exact flip on demand, Jetty performing prequel-like aerial maneuvers with their lightsabers, and perhaps even Spider-Man himself could be replaced by the robots in the future. Even in the glimpse of this new initiative is encouraging and exciting for what is to come, but it will undoubtedly be a while before we see these Stuntronics in work in the parks. Number 4. Atlas Now we will talk about Robot Atlas. The Defense Advanced Research Project Agency in the US provided cash and direction for Boston Dynamics to largely build the bipedal humanoid robot Atlas. The robot was initially designed to do many types of search and rescue operations. Some businesses assert that it is the most agile humanoid robot ever built, because of the dynamic nature of its body structure, it can move fast and maintain balance on a variety of surfaces. Although the robot is capable of many different actions, some of its favorites are sprinting, leaping, and backflips. It can recognize impediments and go across a range of terrains because it is so sophisticated AI systems. The physical setup is important to note. Atlas is 80 kilograms in weight and has a height of 150 centimeters. It moves at a pace of 5.4 kilometers an hour on average. The growth of Atlas has been nothing short of amazing. In addition to the showy movements, it also exhibits some extremely fascinating foundational skills, such correcting its equilibrium with landing awkwardly. Boston Dynamics claims that by providing Atlas with a set of template behaviors like as jumping and vaulting and enabling it to modify those behaviors to fit new situations, the developers were able to generalize Atlas's behavior. The robot still struggles with some very fundamental tasks, though. For instance, Atlas may fall flat on its face if it falls a jump or loses its equilibrium. In these circumstances, primates reflexively extend their arms to absorb the impact of the fall and save their head, neck, eyes, and other essential organs. Long before we start running along ledges or jumping from platforms, these skills are formed. A parkour tracks complicated environment as opposed to a flat basic one speeds up the identification and solving of these problems. Number 5. Aquanaut the robotic Aquanaut is the last robot which we are going to discuss in this video. Robots are utilized in harsher conditions including the ocean when they are used to monitor marine life and water pollution, hunt invading species, and even map dangers to coral reefs. This makes sense of course given that aquatic environments, particularly those in deep sea, are notoriously challenging for people to manage and frequently call for a high degree of skill and specialized gear. One option is the shape changing underwater robot known as the Aquanaut. The Equinaut, created by Houston Mechatronics, can instantly change from a submarine to a mermaid becoming a semi-humanoid aquatic robot. With this technology, the business is transforming the underwater robot market by building a machine that can carry out tasks in deep seas that are too challenging for basing robots to do, yet unsafe for people. Equinaut was developed especially for maintaining submerged oil and gas facilities. To reach its destination in deep waters, the robot will travel in submarine mod. Once there, it will change into its humanoid form and unleash its potent weapons. Like a human arm, each arm does in fact include sensors and axes of motion. Not quite prepared to go into the depths yet is Aquanaut. To prepare astronauts in weightlessness, NASA uses the neutral Beyoncé laboratory, a large pool with 23.5 million liters of water and a maximum depth of 12 meters, where experts are putting it through its paces. With that being said, we conclude our video. If you like this video, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.